Today on Zero to Awesome, we're going to be doing something I said I wasn't going to do, and that's because it's kind of going to be an experiment, and y'all will get to see how well or how poorly it turns out. So if you've been watching, this is our off-road camper. We have our bedroom slide out here, we have our kitchen slide out here, and right now this is just raw plywood. So we need to take the plywood, finish it, make it waterproof, and ready to be in the great outdoors. And to do that, we're going to be using spar urethane. So this stuff we have already used on the floor here. You can tell it's a different color than the other wood, and whenever we're done with it, the spar urethane is gonna make this wood the same color as the floor. It will also make it waterproof and probably dog pee proof if we have dogs in there. So in the past I've always rolled or brushed this on, but today I think I'm gonna try a little experiment because we have so much wood to do. I'm gonna try spraying it. We're gonna see how that goes. Uh, but first we have a little, little bit more work to do on this bedroom slide out right here. So on the bedroom we still have this exposed steel frame here and we left that exposed because we still needed to do some welding on the handle that we put on here. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and cover up the frame with some wood. Probably still leave that exposed, maybe just paint it black or something. Uh, and then once we get that all finished up, we can actually start staining. So real quick, I'm just gonna cut out some pieces for this, glue them on, and then we can get into how we're gonna polyurethane this thing, or spar urethane, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so now our edge is finished off. I This is the same 1 8 inch or three millimeter plywood we've been using to kind of skin stuff. Uh, cut it a little bit big, went over it with the router to cut it flush there. We use the same construction adhesive, PLO Premium. We've been using on everything to adhere that. So that is all on there now. Next up, we're going to go through and all the nail holes we have, so like, these guys right here, there's some more over here. We're gonna fill them all with wood putty. I like plastic wood, it, it seems to work pretty well, dries pretty fast. And then we're gonna do the least favorite part of building a camper, which is sanding. So this plywood is already, it's pretty well sanded, but it can be better. So since it's already sanded, we're gonna start with 150 grit, then we're gonna work our way up to 220 grit. And after that, we'll do the spar urethane. And whenever you're sanding, this is gonna be fun. Make sure you get off all the glue because this is gonna come out a different color if you don't get it off. So yeah, fun times with the sander. So everything sanded up pretty nicely considering how dirty we got it. We were, you know, welding all up close to there and whatnot, but everything came out pretty nice. So everything is out in the driveway except for this one piece because this is going to be the top of the coffee table and I think it's a little bit boring. I think we could make it a little bit more awesome. So before we put urethane on everything, we're gonna do one more thing to this table.
Okay, so our coffee table came out pretty nice there. And while I was doing the black, I went ahead and got all the other metal bits that needed to be black, painted black. So the next step, we're gonna take our coffee table, we're gonna take the sides of our thing and everything else that's outside right now, and we're gonna cover it in spar urethane. So let me get set up for that real quick and then we'll go over what we're gonna do there. All right, so we got everything in here, dusted off, ready to go. So today we're gonna be using Harbor Freight's second finest HVLP gun. Uh, so this is the same gun that I used to do the Raptor liner on my camper, and this is their primer gun. So it has a little bit of a bigger tip than the fine finish gun. And I think that will be helpful because with the urethane here, people say when you spray it through the gun, you need to thin it about 20% and then you need to do a final coat, just full thickness to make it come out really nice and smooth. So I'm thinking, since we have the primer gun, why don't we just do every coat full strength and see if it works? I mean, if it does, that's great. If it doesn't, I have mineral spears here and we can thin as necessary, but I'm gonna just try going full spar urethane through the HVLP primer gun and see how it comes out. We probably will, I'm thinking, have to wet sand somewhere in there. Um, just the, uh, the coffee table here, you can see with the paint, it's still got some little nibs of dust and pieces of the wood sticking up. So we'll probably do two coats, wet sand, and then one final coat to get everything really smooth, or at least that's what I'm thinking. We'll see how it goes. So time to get to painting. Dear Lord. So that's that. Funny story, I did once have a paint suit, actually two of them that I probably should have used for this, but Alan and I just, we just did dumb stuff with them. But anyway, so spraying the urethane full strength through the primer gun was not a problem at all. The, the gun did great, had it set to 20 PSI, I think, and everything came out really nicely. It's, it's pretty shiny right now, and well, this is this is the biggest problem I had right there. We need to touch that one up. But, um, so apparently the urethane is way stickier than paint, and every time I stepped anywhere, the plastic just started coming right up. I should have done paper instead. That just takes longer, but uh, anyways, we got it done. Uh, we'll see how everything dries up. Uh, and then we'll let this dry overnight. Tomorrow we'll put things back together and I uh, I do have a little bit of a surprise when we put things back together. Just just a little one though, so don't get too excited. But um, I'm gonna try and clean this up. I'm not sure there's enough acetone in the world. I am like so sticky. I think the only reason my eyes aren't stuck open is because I was sweating so much. But uh, yeah, we'll clean this up and get to assembling. So everything is back together now. The, uh, the outside kitchen portion of Cerater is now waterproof, just like the inside floor is, because that's necessary. But anyways, it's all sealed off and it's looking good. Uh, I also added some weather stripping in here uh, on both sides, so that will help it slide a little bit better and also keep out those pesky bugs that we don't want in there. 
And that was just some stuff I got from Amazon, this stuff right here. And so with this logo on the coffee table now, whenever you're driving behind Saratera, If we ever decide to clean the window, your eyes will be treated to eh, half a speedometer. I honestly thought that'd be a little bit higher, but I still think it looks cool when you open the back. And now for our surprise. Um, so I did a little more shopping on Amazon the other day. And so Alan and I originally said we were gonna get some more of these nets for right back here. But after thinking about it a little while, we decided not really necessary. We don't wanna be like shoving stuff behind the cups and whatnot, but you know where we could use some more storage is up in here. So this is, you know, the bedroom area and we have this big flat back wall back there and nothing's really gonna happen to that wall. So the sides need to stay open so the slide out can slide in and out. But that back wall, we could put stuff on. So we have two more of those nets just like we have in the kitchen. We have one big, like this is, like uh, if you can see it right there, it's designed for a seat back of like an SUV or something like that. And that's gonna go like all the way across. And then we have these which go on the backs of the seats. So we will have lots of storage. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in real quick. Okay, so we've got our seat back storage here. That's all well and good. In the back, did have a little bit of an issue. We didn't have enough room up and down. So I remembered we're gonna have a mattress in here, so that's gonna take up a little bit of room. Uh, and then there just wasn't a room, enough room up top to put these guys, so we'll use these somewhere else probably. We're gonna have, you know, some wall panels in here and whatnot, or maybe they go on the ceiling. I do like things on the ceiling. So it turns out a zero to awesome experiment worked out for once. We were able to finish our wood with unthinned spar urethane right through an HVLP gun. Granted, it was a primer gun, but it worked out. So if you like the way it turned out, make sure you hit that like button. And if you hate the way it turned out, then hit that subscribe button because there's nothing like watching a train wreck. So until next time, I'm gonna go find more things to hit with the train. See you later.